This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have the HP Chromebook 11 G6 EE, and I'm going to show you how to replace the screen on a HP Chromebook G6 EE. A couple of things before we get started. Uh, for this version, it comes with both with the touch and the non-touch version. And uh, the only way to really tell, because they look almost identical, is the touch version, which this one happens to be, has the glossy finish on the screen. And the non-touch version has the matte finish on the screen. That's really the only way to tell. The procedure is nearly identical, but the screens will be different and the connector will be different. So they're not, the screens are not interchangeable between the two. So, um, like I said, this is the gen Generation 6 G6 version, so there's five previous versions, and that's why we want to make sure we are working on the right Chromebook. So, on the bottom, there's some writing. It says HP Chromebook 11 G6 EE. So, make sure it's G G6 and the EE because there's also going to be a non-EE version. All right, let's turn off the phone real quick. And then we're going to work on it. Uh, each time you open and close the Chromebook, it's going to turn off, turn on by itself, like here. And what we want to do is make sure it's turned off when we worked on it. Since this is a touch, we're going to shut it down here. Now once we shut it down, what we want to do is go over the tools we're going to use. We have a PH1 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and one's the size. We have a smaller PH0 electronic screwdriver. A hobby knife or an X-Acto knife with a pointed end. That's to lift up adhesive tape. A pair of metal tweezers to manipulate screws or any cables and a spudger to pry things open if needed. So what we want to do is snap off the screen bezel, the plastic frame around the screen, and when we do that we want to tilt the screen assembly backwards so it doesn't fall forward. And when we do that we use our fingertips or fingernails to pull outwards and listen for snapping sounds on the screen bezel. And in this way, we go around the screen assembly. Uh, this time, it's a little bit easier for me because I've taken off this uh, bezel before. But uh, first time, it's going to be a little bit harder because there's some adhesive. So like this, we go around the screen assembly and on the bottom. And then there's a hinge cover. A hinge cover, there's a trick. So what we want to do is use our screwdriver to reach in and pry it open like so. And if the, if the screwdriver doesn't fit, the tweezers will fit and we're going to pry it open like so and the plastic bezel comes off. So the next part is we want to remove the screen from the screen assembly. Once again, the laptop is tilted back and there's four screws that we need to remove from the side brackets. There's one, two, three, and four. So we remove each screw one by one and put them to the side using our PH1 screwdriver. And once we do that, we grab the screen and lay it down on the keyboard assembly, being careful not to touch the power button so as not to turn on the laptop. There's one connector on the bottom, and we use our hobby knife to lift up the adhesive tape. And once we get a good grip on it, we pull the adhesive tape back like so. And then grabbing with both fingers, we pull the connector out. Let me show you how to reconnect the connector. When you reconnect, reconnect in the connector, you slide it in. And let's get a close-up of it. When it's properly connected, there should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. 
Okay, let's pull this connector out here. Yeah, let's take a look at the screen. So this is the touch version of the Chromebook 11 G6EE. And the screen itself, other than a different part number, it's gonna have one notable difference. This, the touch version has a bigger connector. The touch version is gonna have a 40 pin connector and the non-touch connector is gonna have a 30 pin, so which is a little bit smaller. And the other way you can tell a touch screen from a non-touch screen is the touch one is going to be glossy and the non-touch version is going to be have a matte finish. Okay, for the touch screen version, the part number that we're looking for is B116XAK01.1. The non-touch version is going to have a different part number, of course, a smaller connector and a matte finish. Uh, we at Screen Surgeons have both of these in stock. Uh, we work with schools and school districts extensively and we take purchase orders and we have volume discounts. So if you need to find this guy, this screen, contact us and let us know if you're looking for the touch or a non-touch version and we can supply both. If uh, you're ordering from our website, uh, we will have both of these screens listed, both the touch and the non-touch. And to order from the website is go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out, which will guide you to buy the right screen online. If you are working with a school district, there's a tab at the top of our website, a link at the top of our website that says schools, and then there will be a separate form for you to fill out. Okay, once you do get this screen in, reconnect the connector like I showed you. Mount the screen in the screen assembly. Put the two screws in at the top, two at the bottom, and then snap the screen bezel back on and your Chromebook should be working perfectly again. Okay, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.